Imagine if your dad was one of the greatest NBA players to ever exist, or you were married to a six-time NBA champion. Who are we talking about? Michael Jordan, of course. In today's video, we're going to be getting close and personal with the NBA legend as we'll be discussing his family life and things you didn't know about him. So be sure not to go anywhere and pay attention. We're starting off with James Jordan Sr., Michael Jordan's father. James was born on July 31st, 1936 in Wallace, North Carolina. James worked as a supervisor at a General Electric plant. He grounded Michael in the importance of hard work and consistency. He also supported Michael playing basketball and was a huge part of why Michael decided to pursue the sport as a career opportunity. James even constructed a basketball court for Michael in their backyard. Apart from basketball, the father-son duo also loved playing baseball together. In an unfortunate turn of events, James was declared missing on July 23, 1993, and wasn't found till August 3, 1993. But sadly, he was found dead in a swamp in McCall, South Carolina, by a fisherman. His body wasn't even recognizable at first because of how severely his body had decomposed till August 13th, when the family dentist provided his dental records. According to police investigations, James was shot by two teenagers, Larry Martin Demery and Daniel Andre Green, while he was sleeping in his car and stole the car. Demery Green and Green were convicted and sentenced to life imprisonment. The tragedy of how things played out with his father really took a toll on Michael, and he announced his retirement to everyone's surprise not long after. Although MJ later came out of retirement two years after. Up next is Michael's mother, Dolores. Dolores Jordan was born in September 1941 in Rocky Point, North Carolina. She met Michael's father for the first time in a basketball game in 1954, which is funny because her brothers frequently played basketball with James at Pender County Training School. James was a gentleman. He even requested permission from Dolores' father before taking her out on a date. They dated for the next three years and got married in 1957. Dolores worked as a bank teller in New York, while James, at the time, trained to be a mechanic. Dolores has founded several charities and has been the president and founder of the James R. Jordan Foundation for almost 20 years. She also founded the Children's Wellness Center in Nairobi, Kenya, and was awarded the Clinton Global Initiative Award in 2005. She was the kind of mother who instilled the spirit of responsibility in her kids and always ensured they participated in house chores, such as cleaning, doing the dishes, and sewing. In high school, when Michael had begun playing professional basketball in 1984, he and his mom sought to find ways to give back to the community. The two co-founded the Michael Jordan Foundation in 1989. Dolores also founded the Michael Jordan Education Club, which encourages children to improve their grades and attend school. Speaking of children, Dolores and her husband are blessed with three kids, including Michael, and their next set of people we'll be talking about. Larry Jordan most people find it hard to believe that Larry, who is MJ's big brother, was also a basketball player and was also as talented as his baby brother. Michael even admitted that his competitiveness on the court was inspired by Larry and also said that Larry was the toughest person he had ever faced. Michael even considered his brother to be better than him. Larry got offers from 17 universities and baseball organizations, so I guess maybe MJ had a point. Even though Larry was also a talented player, he didn't make it into the NBA. Larry is currently the Charlotte Hornets its VP of player personnel alongside Michael. Larry was one of the major people behind the selection of Lamella Ball. Moving on to Michael's other brother, James Jordan Jr., aka Ronnie. James was born in 1957 and is MJ's oldest sibling, six years older than Michael. James served in the U.S. Army and was one of 500 men of the 35th Signal Brigade. He was the senior enlisted officer in a brigade of 2,450 soldiers. Ronnie was a non-commissioned officer and a leader in the United States Army Signal Corps for almost 31 years. When he retired, there was a three-day celebration at Fort Bragg, North Carolina, with augulates from ex-president George Bush and Bill Clinton, Ronnie's colonels, and 3,200 servicemen. He currently works as the Hornets Executive Vice President and Chief Operations Officer. Now that we're done with the Jordan brothers, let's talk about their sisters. First off, Dolores Jordan. Dolores is Michael's second oldest sibling. She's a single mother of three and lives in Pennsylvania. Dolores came a long way from struggling with family, divorce, and her father's death, and writing was one of her coping mechanisms during those times. In her book, In My Family Shadow, Dolores accused her father James of consistent sexual assault and claimed she lost her virginity to her father, who raped her. However, there's no way of verifying Dolores' accusations because James was already dead. And now the last of Michael's siblings we have, Rosalind Jordan, Michael's younger sister. 
Rosalind currently stays in Chicago. Rosalind is also a writer and is the co-author of Salt in His Shoes and Did I Tell You I Love You Today, which she wrote along with her mom, among others, which are mostly novels for children. Rosalind and Dolores' his children books are infamous for inculcating drawings by African-American artists known for their creativity. Now that we've covered all of MJ's siblings, let's dive deeper by looking into his marriage and children. Michael has been married twice and has a total of five children. Let's take a look at them one by one. Michael's first marriage was with Juanita Vinoy. Juanita was born in 1959 in Chicago, Illinois. The couple got married in September 1989. Juanita first filed for divorce in 2002, citing irreconcilable differences, but later withdrew her petition. She then later refiled for the divorce and her marriage with Michael was officially annulled after 17 years of marriage. Michael paid a whopping sum of $168 million as alimony, which is one of the highest in sports history. Juanita currently lives in Kingsbury Estate in Chicago, where she bought a $4.7 million mansion and mostly spends her time doing yoga, traveling, and collecting art. Michael and Juanita have three children together, Jeffrey, Marcus, and Jasmine. Let's talk about Jordan's heirs, shall we? Jeffrey Jordan. Jeffrey was born on November 18, 1988. Jeff also played basketball and played for the University of Central Florida and in Illinois. Jeff quit basketball in Illinois, but later rejoined the team, and unlike his old man, he didn't make it to the NBA and ended up undrafted when he declared for the 2012 draft. He got married in 2019 to Radina Aniva, who is a 37-year-old Bulgarian native. She works as a financial analyst at the Walt Disney Company. Jeff moved to Portland, Oregon to focus on life after basketball. Jeff is an entrepreneur and is the co-founder of Jordan Avakayan Group, which is a Chicago-based consulting group. On September 24, 2021, Jeff made headlines when he was arrested in Scottsdale, Arizona for assaulting a hospital staff. He has been released and has kept a low profile from the media since then. The next Jordan heir on the list is Marcus Jordan. Marcus was born on December 24, 1990, and is Michael's second oldest son. He is also a former basketball player. He once played for the UCF Knights, but just like his brother, Marcus decided to quit basketball in college. But unlike his brother, Marcus' decision was permanent, and he didn't rejoin, but instead stayed to complete his college degree at the University of Florida and graduated with a degree in hospitality management in 2013. In 2016, Marcus started his own business. He owns a high-end luxury shoe store called The Trophy Room that sells sells Jordan shoes and other athletic gear and is designed after MJ's trophy room. The physical store closed in 2019 and the company has now moved online. And the last of Michael's children with Juanita is Michael's first daughter, Jasmine Jordan. Jasmine was born on December 7, 1992. She attended Syracuse University and earned a degree in sports management. During her time in Syracuse, she met her longtime boyfriend, Rakeem Christmas, who is a pro basketballer in Europe. She and Rakeem got engaged in 2018 and had a son, Rakeem Michael Christmas, in May 2019. Like her father, Jasmine also has an eye for business and she's involved with several organizations. She currently works as a field representative for the Jordan brand and is helping the brand to expand into the female athlete space. And not only in the WNBA, part of her expansion idea involved her recent signing of Jess Sims, who's a Peloton instructor, and Jasmine plans to sign more. Jasmine currently works with 13 WNBA players and is always looking to expand her athlete portfolio. Jasmine described what it's like to be the daughter of Michael Jordan and to work with the Jordan brand, saying, It's powerful. It's special to have the name and work for the brand. It doesn't feel real. People say all the time, that's your brand. I say, no, it's not. But yes, it is. I'm aware of it. But I don't think about it as much as people around me do. I'm blessed with the name and the opportunity, but I don't take it for granted. Aside from his three kids with Juanita, MJ is also a father to twin daughters, Isabel and Victoria, who he has with his current wife, Yvette Prieto. Michael met Yvette a year after his divorce from Juanita. Yvette was born on the 26th of March in 1979. She's an American model and has modeled for designer Alexander Wang. Yvette has appeared in the documentary Cuba, an island apart as herself. The couple got married on April 27, 2013, and it is reported that the ceremony cost $10 million. Wow! In 2014, the couple welcomed their twin daughters, Isabel and Victoria. That's it for today, y'all. Tell us what's the most interesting thing you found out about MJ's family in the comments section below. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching.